Okay, class, here we are. Let's look at these problems. All right, we're going to do um, some more math homework. We've got uh, eight problems on this sheet of paper here. We're going to do the even ones together. So we'll do two, four, six, and eight together. That'll leave you with one, three, five, and seven. <clears throat> All right, first we read our directions. We've got to circle the givens. We need to underline what you need to find. You need to list the givens. You need to list what you need to find. And then show your calculation. Always write numbers and units together. Okay, so we're going to start with number two. This uh, says the same cyclist. Okay, a cyclist from problem number one heads out on his road bike and rides 16.5 miles per hour for 2.25 hours. How many miles will he cover on the ride? Well, it looks like we have got a speed given in miles per hour, so it's a given. And it looks like we have a time given in hours. All right. And then what are we trying to find? We're trying to find how many miles. We'll underline that. All right, yeah, I'm using a purple pen. So over here, we're gonna write um, G for given. I'm gonna put a circle around it. I'm gonna write my two givens down. 16.5 miles over one hour. Okay, there's my first given. 16.5 miles per hour is 16.5 miles in one hour. All right. And we want to write it like this because it will help us set up our problem and help us find the right answer. Okay, and then he rode for 2.25 hours, HR. What we're trying to find, I'll put an F for find, I'll put a box around it. And we're trying to find miles, so I'll just put MI, miles. Okay, once you've identified your givens, you circle them. Identify what we're trying to find, you write a line under it. List your givens. Okay, go ahead and write a G for given, All right? Put a circle around it. List your givens. Um, use the abbreviations for your givens, All right? Write the number and units together. So 16 and a half miles per hour, 2.25 hours. And we want to solve for miles. That's what we're trying to find over here, All right? So we're going to write equal sign, blank space, miles. Okay? So always start by writing this first. Then the second thing you do is you find which given has what you're looking for in it. All right, if I'm trying to find miles, I start with the thing that has miles in it. When you want miles by itself, that has to start out on the top. Okay, it's a complex unit. Make sure, right, if it's something over something else, make sure you put it on top. So 16.5 miles in one hour. Okay, I am not used to this pen. It's a little funny. All right. And then we're going to multiply that by 2.25 hours. Okay. <clears throat> if you write something and there's no line, right, this is like a whole thing. All right. Here's a number with a number below it. Okay. So it's kind of like a fraction. All right. It's just a complex set of units. Okay. Over here we have this. The hour is going to cancel out. 16.5 times 2.25 will give me the answer. Okay, my answer is 37.125, so we'll just say 37.1 miles. That's how far the cyclist will ride in 2.25 hours at a speed of 16.5 miles per hour. All right, so that's number two. Let's go down to number four here. Okay, now we've got a cross-country runner who's going to cover 3.107 miles, which is 5K, in 16 and a half minutes. What was his average pace? In, my, in minutes per mile. So this is a given, right? The distance he's gonna run, the time it's gonna take him to run, and then his pace is what we're solving for, which is minutes per mile, okay? Circle our givens, underline what we're trying to find, write down a G for given, list your givens, 3.107 miles, and 16.5 minutes. Okay, what are we trying to find? We're trying to find his pace, which is kind of the opposite, or the upside down, the inverse of speed. All right, we're trying to find minutes, M-I-N, per mile, which is M-I. Okay, and this is what we're trying to solve for. So we're gonna go over here to the right, equals so many minutes per mile. Okay. It shows us that we want minutes on top and miles on the bottom. 
So we're going to start with minutes and put that first, 16.5 minutes. And then we're going to multiply that by the inverse of miles, because I really want to divide by that. I want that on the bottom. And you could just draw a line here and put it on the bottom, okay? But I'm going to put a separate um, conversion factor for each different given, okay? All these problems on this sheet here are going to have two to start with, okay? They're going to have two, um, two things. So we're going to do one over 3.107 miles. I'm going to squeeze in my MI there. Supposed to be an MI, it's hard to see. All right, now I've got minutes on top, we've got miles on the bottom. Should get the right answer. Do 16.5 divided by 3.107, and I get 5.31 minutes per mile. That's pretty fast. All right, now let's go down and look at number six. Okay, my computer's in the way, I gotta adjust my. Okay, now we have a person. And these times I actually pulled off of our uh, Wednesday last week. We went outside and we ran. So I actually pulled these off of our 40 meter dash times. All right, we're doing number six. Okay. Person ran 40 meters at an average speed of 7.69 meters per second. What was his time in the 40 meter dash? And this was with a running start, right? So his average speed is higher with a running start than with a standing start. At least it should be. All right, so let's circle our givens. Here's a given, 7.69 meters per second. That's a given. Okay, don't just circle the meters, it's meters per second, right? Miles per hour, meters per second, those are speeds. This is a distance. Okay, and what was his time? Now, this looks like a given, doesn't it? But this is just telling us what he ran, okay? So you could either circle that or that, okay? But you don't need to circle them both. We underline time. We list our givens first. All right, he ran 40 meters. And again, when you write down your givens or you list your givens, you can just use the abbreviations for the units. Okay. And 7.69 meters per second. Okay, 7.69 meters per second looks just like this. All right, what are we trying to find? All right, we are trying to find his time. Time is gonna be in seconds. So let me just write an S. I'm trying to find time in seconds, okay? So I'll go over here again to the right-hand side and I'll write equal sign, leave a blank space for my number and write an S for seconds. I know I want seconds on my answer, so I'm gonna take the thing that has seconds in it. I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna start with this one, okay? But again, since this is by itself, I have to flip this over to put seconds on top because this is basically any time it's by itself it means it's on top right if it was feet per second we could write ft over s and then it would put it on the bottom but it's right now when it's by itself it means it's on top so always put it's by itself always start it on top okay and these parentheses they just you know they just separate out this thing from what comes next and also when parentheses touch each other, it tells you that you're multiplying. All right. So let's look at this. Um, so we're basically doing one times 40 divided by 7.69. All right, my meters cancel out and I get seconds are my only unit. So let's do that. One times 40 divided by 7.69 is 5.20 seconds. All right, you go up here. I did not cancel um, any of these units because minutes and miles don't cancel out. They're both in your answer, right? They're both in the answer for your pace. Up here, we did cancel units. Hours canceled hours, miles are what we're looking for, okay? All right, let's look at number eight now. Okay, we have a person ran at an average speed of 6.31 meters per second for 4.57 or 4.75 seconds. What distance did he cover in meters? So this is a given, meters per second, it's a given. 4.75 seconds is a given. What distance did he cover in meters? 
That's what we're trying to find. Let's write down our givens. 6.31 meters in one second. That's my first given. Okay. Uh, my second given, I'll just write over here, 4.75 seconds. And then what am I trying to find? I'm trying to find the distance he covered, and that's just meters. <clears throat> All right, two givens, one find. All these problems on the first page are basically two givens and one thing you're trying to find. All right, so let's look and set this up. We're trying to find meters. We're gonna go over here and write equal sign, blank space for the number, and meters. Start with what we want. This is conveniently located on top, so we'll use that just as it's written. 6.31 meters in one second. And then to get rid of the seconds, we have to multiply by 4.75 seconds. Okay, my seconds cancel out. Do 6.31 times 4.75 divided by one. And we get 29.97, we're just gonna call it 30 meters. All right, it's 29.97, rounds off 30. Okay, there we go, there's eight problems. Um, we just did those in 11 and a half minutes-ish, a little less maybe. And they're all worked out. You can watch this video. I want your work, when you're done, to look exactly like this. All right, you're responsible for doing one, three, five, and seven. All right, you're gonna do all the odds. We did the evens together in class. You need to write the evens down if you weren't able to keep up with the video. Um, you can watch it on your own. This will be accessible through your canvas. And I want you to fill it out. Make sure you circle your givens, underline what you're trying to solve for. List your givens, okay, that's an important step. When you list your givens, go ahead and use the abbreviations for the units, okay? And then list what you're trying to find. Set up the problem, okay, show your answer. All right, numbers and units, always put numbers and units. Don't just write 16.5 over one, 2.25, okay? If you do that, you're really leaving off information. It's not the correct way to do it, okay? So do these and get your answers. All right, good luck.